mathematicians. This is Miss Faye from Princeton University. And today we're going to do another story problem. If you're excited, give me two thumbs up. And back down. Let me see you sit up tall. Your hands are folded in your lap and your eyes are on me. Let me see. Wow, you look super good. So let's go ahead and get started, making sure that you have your pencil, your spiral notebook, and your cubes. Give me a thumbs up. This should be super quick. And back down. So today I'm gonna read a story problem about sports. I know some of you love playing basketball, some friends love football, some friends love soccer. So today's story problem is about soccer. So let's go ahead and read it. I'm gonna read it three times and you're going to be, your eyes are gonna be on the paper and your ears are listening. Let's go ahead and get started. The coach had nine soccer balls. He lost six soccer balls. How many soccer balls does the coach have now? The coach had nine soccer balls. He lost six soccer balls. How many soccer balls does the coach have now? One more time. The coach had nine soccer balls. He lost six soccer balls. How many soccer balls does the coach have now? It's your turn. Go ahead and think and say it to yourself or somebody next to you. Go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and bring it, bring it. I noticed friends really thinking about the problem to make sure they are saying it right. Let's read it one more time before we dive into using our two powerful strategies. Let's go. The coach had nine soccer balls. He lost six soccer balls. How many soccer balls does the coach have left? So I'm going to start with the first line because I see a number that I can show with my cues. The coach had nine soccer balls. If I want to show that with my cubes, how many cubes should I use to show nine soccer balls? Yes, nine, great. Count with me as I put these cubes in a straight line. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that shows the nine soccer balls. Let's read on to see what happens next. Say, Miss Grace, read on. Yes, let's go. He lost six soccer balls. So, hmm, a word that's sticking out to me that is gonna help me find out what I need to do is the word lost. What happens when you lose something? Do you still have it or is it gone? When you lose something, do you still have it or is it gone? You're right, when you lose something, it's gone. You don't have it anymore. So it says, he lost six soccer balls. That means from these nine soccer balls, six of them are gone because he lost them. So what we need to do is take off six cubes to show the six soccer balls that are lost. Are you ready to count with me? I can't hear you. Are you ready to count with me? Great, let's count loud and proud. Six soccer balls that are lost. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the coach lost these six soccer balls. I'm gonna go ahead and put them away. Now let's see how we're gonna solve the problem. How many soccer balls does the coach have left? How many soccer balls does the coach have now? One more time. How many soccer balls does the coach have now? Your turn. So in order to find out how many soccer balls does the coach have now, we know we need to count out what's left over. And the way we're gonna do that is with our hot finger. Get your hot finger ready. Say hot finger, I'm ready. Oh, you sound good. Let's go ahead and take that finger and tap each cube one time. Let's go. One, two, three. So how many soccer balls does the coach have left? Yes, three. And if you want to bring that position, you are going to write the number and circle it. Parents, at this time, I would suggest to urge our scholars to write the numbers out. So you can go ahead and let them try. 
Um, some numbers might be difficult, but some numbers might be easy. Um, so go ahead and let them try writing those numbers out in a super neat line. So that was our number one strategy. And now I'm going to draw a neat line because I want my paper to look beautiful. And I'm going to move on to my second strategy. And in this strategy, we know that we draw circles. Let's go ahead and read to see how many circles we need to draw. The coach had nine soccer balls. Hmm. If the coach had nine soccer balls, how many circles do I need to draw? You're right, nine circles. I want you to notice how neatly in one line from here to the end of the paper, end to end, I draw my circles. Count with me loud and proud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are my circles the same size? Give me a thumbs up. Are they neat? And did I use the end of the paper to the end? Yes. I still have some space left over. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to solve the problem. How many soccer balls does the coach have now? How many soccer balls does the coach have now? So friends, now we're going to see what we need to do. Oops, I went ahead. The next thing we need to read is right here. He lost six soccer balls. He lost six soccer balls. And we talked about this when we were using the cubes. When you lose something, do you still have it or is it gone? Do you still have it or is it gone? You're right, when you lose something, it's gone. You do not have it. So he lost six soccer balls. What we need to do is, yes, cross out the circles to show the six soccer balls are gone. So if six soccer balls are lost, how many circles am I crossing out? Of course, six. Let's go ahead and count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice how I drew a line across the circles and made sure I didn't make my paper a mess. It's still super neat and I can still see my other work. So now I need to see is how many soccer balls does the coach have now? How many soccer balls does the coach have now? So we need to count what's left over. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna tap in the circle one time and count. Let's go ahead. One. Two, three. Ooh, I know I'm gonna go ahead and find the space to write my answer and circle it. So friends, that was a great job. And notice how many friends are noticing the neatness in the work and they wanna do the same because they wanna make their work neat and they're counting that and proud because they wanna to count to 100. And I can't wait for that to happen. So let's go ahead and do our cheer to celebrate our great work. Get your roller coaster ready and let's do it together. Roller coaster cheer. And fold your hands and there you go. Now for the last part, you are going to do a problem on your own. So let's see what happens now with another pose. So let's go ahead and read. The coach had eight basketballs. She lost five basketballs. How many basketballs does she have now? The coach had eight basketballs. She lost five basketballs. How many basketballs does she have now? One more time. The coach had eight basketballs. She lost five basketballs. How many basketballs does she have now? All right, friends, it's time for you to get your work, get to work, and show your work super neat and making sure that you're writing out your answer. I'm really looking forward to seeing your answers in a circle. All right, friends, have an amazing day. Bye.